Hey guys, it's Dog Vinyl again, and today is Record Store Day. Um, I'm gonna do some coverage. Max J Records over in Fairhaven. Give them a shout out. That's the place where these are from, brick and mortar store. I wanted to just go over some of the um, current releases that are gonna be done on Record Store Day. I'm gonna talk about the numbers and the bands, and some of these are my personal favorites. Some of these um, I hope to get on Saturday, um, but definitely uh, good stuff. And one or two of them I'm gonna open up so you can see a special preview, never before seen, um, only on Doc Vinyl here. So yeah, this is one of the posters that will be giving away. They give away bags. This is a RSD Drop Store Summer 21 bag. There'll be different colors and different versions. They'll also be giving you uh, pins. Got some right here. Uh, different pins and stuff that they will be giveaway record store day pins I don't know if you guys can see that so pretty cool so yeah those will be in the bag and there'll be different giveaways and posters and stuff like that so I just thought I would show you a couple of the uh, giveaways that's some of them right there so without further ado let's go forward and check out the record store day releases okay so as you can see it's in the bag I'm gonna give it a little the hold uh, one two do 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 Doom. All right. Now I'm going to do these alphabetical. These aren't all of them, by the way. These are just a couple um, that will be available on Saturday. Um, just really, really cool stuff. We're going to go over them. I'm just going to go over them first of all, and then uh, you know, put them in my little list here. And then I go over them individually as we go. We got The Doors, Morrison Hotel, special section, two albums, special recording, never before done. Pretty awesome. And for the jazz scene, Kenny Durham, Quiet Kenny, one of my personal favorites. I love Kenny Durham. This is one of the favorites. This has my ideal on it. Uh, what a band on this one. It says Tony Flanagan, Paul Chambers, and Art Taylor, um, as you can see right there. And this is on the special mono edition. And this was a drawn, I believe, let's, let's do the Rudy Van Gelder uh, recordings. So I believe let's get the glasses on. And all analog master from the original models. So this is, this is a very limited thing. So awesome jazz stuff my favorite band in the whole wide world Emerson Lincoln Palmer and this is a Tarkus picture disc for the first time uh, record store day Emerson Lincoln Palmer Tarkus 50th anniversary picture disc because of course Tarkus came out in 1971 um, look at that beauty beauteous and nowadays picture discs sound like they used to be this one's actually playable the old ones are terrible this sounds really good so this is very well from the master recordings BMG release Great stuff. Getting back to jazz, we have Thelonious Monk, the Custodian Sessions on Verve, Impulse originally. Uh, what a beauteous one. This is really, really, really nice. Uh, again, drawn from the original analog recordings. Top notch stuff. And these stuff go fast. The jazz stuff is like, it's it. Once it's out, it's out. It's gone. Trust me. Um, I know. I missed out. Here's another little unusual one that I'm interested in. This is called Pinup Girls. And this is not, not easy to get. It has Doris Day, Marilyn Monroe, Josephine Beck, Mae West, Sophia Lauren, Ginger Rodders, and many others, as you can see right here, the pinup girls. And this is them singing, not just doing pinups. Uh, very interesting. I think it's kind of an anomaly kind of thing. I put it with the soundtracks and some cool stuff on here. So this will be very interesting. Definitely collectible. And it is on limited edition colored 180 gram vinyl, as you see right there. Cool. Okay. Oh, highly, highly things I've been waiting for. These two albums are only available in Europe for an exorbitant amount of money, like $150, $200. And for the first time, Record Store Day, they're available, the last two Steely Dan albums. Look at this. Oh, my God. Right here, Two Against Nature. And, of course, Everything Must Go. Um, great, great albums. The Walter Brecker, Daniel Donald Fagan. I'm so psyched. I have it on my phone, of course, electronically, but it's nice to have the vinyl copies. I'll be opening these and looking at these bad boys. Another one that was not available, um, I had it on a download, one of my new favorite bands I love, I've been covering them, The Struts, which I will do a full discography in the future. This is their latest album, this is called Strange Days, ah, oh, amazing album on this, just really good, Luke Spiller is amazing, just really, really good stuff, has kind of a uh, Queen vibe going on, I'll be opening this one too. This is on Special Clear Vinyl, so I don't know how they're going to do that, maybe they'll release it later, but this will be obviously highly collectible because it's on the Clear Vinyl and it's the first release. Really cool. I've already listened to all the songs because obviously it's electronically on on, um, on Apple iTunes. But um, it's good to have it on vinyl finally. And I'll have my full collection of struts. A couple others. This is the Live at Toronto 
A Massey Hall content, 1985. Tears for Fears. Oh, very good. This is a really good one. This is great. All remastered as Shout. Everybody Wants to Rule the World, I believe. They're working on this. All the great, great, great hits, as you can see right there. Highly anticipated, I'm sure. <clears throat> then there's another one. This one's called Uriah Heep. Uh, this is The Magician's Birthday. This is really good. This is on a, um, I believe, a special edition here. This is an exclusive record store day Galaxy Swirl vinyl. I'll have to get that one. That's going to be cool. I love your eye heat. This is a 72 release. This has Sunrise, Spider Woman, Blink Eye, Blink Eye, Blind Eye, sorry, Echoes in the Dark, Rain, Sweet Lorraine, Tales, and Magician's Birthday. So this is really, really cool. I'll have to open this one and take a peek at it. It's going to be a swirl. That's going to be sweet. Okay. Got to like that. And that is it for today. It says 10, so we're going to do 10. So let's talk a little bit about each one a little bit more in depth. First of all, let's open up the Uriah Heap. I know everybody wants to see the Uriah Heap. So this is how I open it up. I'll give a little tutorial here too. I have a razor here. Um, lots of times. This is how I do. I look at the album. Put my glasses on first, of course. Two ways I open the album. First, I want to see if it's a split album. So this one is. This is a gatefold. So to open it plastic-wise, I keep the gatefold shut. There's no point, so you really can't, can't have fun with it. But you do want the hype sticker, right? So what I do is I cut the hype sticker out and put it in my, my thing. So this is what I'm going to do. Cut right here. Ooh, doo -doo. It's like Christmas morning. Whoop, boop, boop. All right, so, and then I just go just right down like this real carefully. And because then I'm going to peel back the... Um, the hype sticker so let's see what we got here okay this looks just oh god this looks so good so i'm gonna pull the plastic over here i'm gonna put it down here because i'm gonna cut the pipe sticker off right here see the hype sticker and i cut that off later okay so uriah heap the magician's birthday look at this bad boy ah just like the original album all the band members gary thane lean cursing mick mick uh mick box ken hensley and david byron on vocals um okay so the big thing on this one is to see the the swirl Ah, this looks, ah, beautiful. Mint and pristine. Always love doing that. And yes. Oh, look at that, baby. Look at that. Ah, that is beautiful, isn't it? Again, limited. Uriah Heap is only limited to 2,500 worldwide. So I suggest if you want one, grab it. That's what I would say. Most definitely. So let's put this back in there carefully. That goes back to the store, and then I'll hopefully be able to get one on Saturday. Let's see. We'll see what happens. You know, I have a good boy. Um, and John has one left over. Get over there in the morning and get one. Okay, so that is a beautifully right here. Then there's the TS for Fears one that I talked a little bit about. Good stuff here. I'm not going to open this one. Um, really good. Mother's Talk. Uh, this is really good. This is a double live album. Definitely worth getting, as I mentioned before. The next one that I want to open is Struts. Yeah, uh, this is just really good on clear vinyl. All right, so this one I'm going to open, like I said, this is not a gatefold. So I'm going to keep all the hype stickers and everything just like that. So what I do, as I look in the middle, very carefully, take the razor blade, right? Go like this. This is like collector stuff. Break the seal very carefully so you're not cutting the inner sleeve in any way, shape, or form. And you just kind of, you'll spread it apart with your fingers, right? And just kind of go like that with the razor and then doop, so that it stays right on. See, perfect. And now, ooh, let's see what we got in here for goodies. Ooh, we got all kinds of goodies. As we pull out the sleeve, whoop, ooh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. No download cards, so, but I already have it anyways. Ah, it's a strange days. Oh. By the band. I think the first original releases have this, have a picture of the band. Of course, he does not look like, come on, Freddie Mercury, seriously, going on there, right? And then it has all of this beautiful little thing from them. And let's see what we got here. As we look. Oh, it's on clear vinyl. Look at, look at it. Woo! Awesome. Look at that. Is that beauteous or what? That is 100% clear vinyl, strange days. Um, this is going to sound awesome. Now, here's the big thing. Is it really clear vinyl or is this the color of vinyl? Because even black vinyl, they add color to it. So maybe this is just real pure vinyl and there's no color added to it. And this is what it looks like. You ever think of that? So how cool is that, huh? That is so cool. Looking forward to hearing and listening and 
enjoying that one. Hopefully I get a hop of that. Now, um, I'll definitely, we'll pick up one of these when they're available on Saturday, but I think um, that's a new band, Struts. I will cover Struts, um, all the other albums that I have in the collection behind me. Um, I'll definitely go over them on that. That'll be awesome. Steely Dan 180, everything must go. Here's another one I'm gonna give a little pop open to. Um, again, same thing. This one is a simple one, so you just kind of go boop. This goes zoop. And I think, is, I don't know, I think this may be like the Euro release, I think, I don't know. So as I pull it out, oh, it has the lyric sheet. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. And Walter Brecker and Mr. Donald Fagan, the geniuses behind Stilly Dan. Look forward to this one. I have, again, I have this music on my phone, of course, but it'd be so much nicer to drop the needle on this one. And on black vinyl, absolutely beautiful. Look at that, love it. And it's a beautiful sleeve. It's got the nice paper on the inside. You don't even have to really redo this one unless you're really anal like myself and want to put it into a uh, mobile fidelity sleeve, but this really doesn't need one as it kind of comes with a nice sleeve itself. So that is a beautiful, beautiful package. Very nicely done. It's nice to see that we can finally get the last two Steely Dan albums without paying an exorbitant amount of money because they were only available in Europe. And while we're at it, we might as well open the other Steely Dan album. Again, this one is all box one off, so I can do the same thing. It doesn't, um, it, it's not a gatefold. Okay, perfect. Look at that, cut it beautifully. And this one, I believe, is two albums. Again, same Steely Dan lyric sheet, which is always good to have. You gotta love that. And a couple of pictures of the band members. This one, I believe, is their last album. The other one was the first. And then these are on two. As you can see, I'll pull one out. Just pull one out. The other one's the same, so I'll just pull one out. For you. See, look at that. Beautiful. Black on one side. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, my God. I didn't see that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at the etching on that. Is that cool or what? I'm sure that's a Record Store Day release with the etching. That is amazing. So it's two albums. Music only on one side, so I assume... Uh, this is the same deal. Let's see. Now we got to look at them both. I didn't know that. Look at that. See the surprises you get? Oh, nope. This is a regular album. But the other album, oh my God, that's so cool. The etching. So it's a three side album, really. So you got three sides of music, one side of cool etching stuff. How is that? That is just like so cool. So yeah, here we go. Yep. Side one, side two, side three. Oh my God. Look at that. This is going to be great. This will go like hotcakes, I guarantee you. So I'm definitely going to be going down there to get one of these early because it's Steely Dan and everybody likes Steely Dan. So yeah, this is a big one. And, now the, and of course, since Walter Brecker died recently, um, I did my Steely Dan um, discography uh, last month. I may actually have to redo it now that the new ones are out so I can cover these. Okay. Here's Pinup Girls. This is on limited edition color vinyl too, so I guess I should open this one too. Right, right. It's like Christmas, right? You guys want to see. Of course you do. Of course you do. Um, and this one should be fun. Limited edition colored vinyl. So let's see what color it is and see how they package this one. Okay. Oh, it's pretty plain. Nothing, nothing to get too crazy about um, as we pull out the sleeve. Oh, perfect. Oh, bup, 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 bup. oh it, of course. <laughs> I should have known. Pin up girls, right? It's girls and it's on pink vinyl. Look at that. Can you guys see that? And the light's washing it out a bit. So, but yes, this is, this is pink vinyl. Look at that pink. So, and it says pin up girls. So this would be cool for my collection. This is going to be really nice to have. I'm going to be curious to see what they sound like. Cause I mean, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I love the pinup girls, and of course most men do. If you have any testosterone, you're going to love all those women. They're all absolutely beautiful. I, I just don't see a dog in the face. But can they all sing? Now, I've heard Marilyn Monroe sing before. You know, she sing Happy Birthday to JFK. Yeah, she's really not like the greatest singer in the world. But it'd be cool to see. I don't know if Doris Day can sing or Mae West or whoever. I think Mae West could sing though. I believe she could. That should be interesting. So this would be fun. Pinup girls, the girls on the side of the airplanes. And there's the Monk Man. We're not gonna open up the Monk Man, um, but this is awesome. This is gonna be an awesome one. Gonna look forward to that one. Thelonious Monk, well, I kinda just missed it quickly, didn't I? I should be looking at it, see who's on this one. This is the Palo Alto concert. This is 1968, the year I was born. This is at the Palo Alto High School. Sold out auditorium, how cool is that? Side A, side B, will be my dear, which I have over there. That's really good. Well, you needn't. That's really good stuff. Don't blame me. Blue Monk, a pester for me. And I love you, sweetheart, of all my dreams. 
This should be pretty good. This actually should be really good. I, I'd have to open it to know who plays with him and who's on drums and everything, but I don't want to do that right now. But definitely, if you are into jazz, this is definitely, I mean, come on, it's the Monk Man. I mean, I got Monk back here. I got Criss Cross, all kinds of cool stuff. So he's the man. I'll do a jazz show too one day because I feel like a lot of cool bebop jazz. Okay, that's bringing us to Mr. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. I'm going to have to open this one. My favorite band. And yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, since this is the same thing, we're going to do it a little. Boop, we're going to put my glasses on. Put my glasses on. And we're going to go. Let's see how they do this, how they package this one. Okay, perfect. Ooh. Then a little sleeve. And yes. Look. Oh my God, look at that. That's the first side, the Tarkus. Of course, there's the Tarkus suite on this first side. And then look at that, the Manticore and all the creatures that it battles throughout the Tarkus suite. And this, of course, is side two, which opens up with Aqua Tarkus and all the beautiful stuff and Infinite Place and everything. This should be great. This is more of a collector's item thing. It's sealed, so obviously, well, no, actually, yeah, you can take it out. Um, to me, I know it's a collector's item thing. I already have Tarkus in two different formats, but it'll be cool to have this. And of course, I'll have to go down and get one on Saturday because it's it's Tarkus and it's just yeah, pretty good stuff. Pretty cool, huh? I'm an Emerson Second Palmer fan, so that's definitely a must-have. A lot of people, if you don't have Tarkus and you're interested, that'd be a good way of getting it. It'd be kind of a cool one. Kenny Durham, and this is the Mono Edition Craft. Ah, this is gonna be a beauty. So I'm gonna have to give this one an open too, and then just to see what we got in here. Oh. Okay, these will be available again. Oh, look at the inside. Oh, it did a nice job on this craft release. Basically, this is just another word for the um, mobile fidelity sleeve. It's like in a mobile fidelity sleeve, basically. Purple New Jazz label right there. See the purple New Jazz label? This is cool. It's on thick 180 gram, of course. Um, ah, let's see the sleeve. Oh, look at that. That's a deep, dark sleeve. This is a really heavy, heavy, heavy jacket. This is really cool. It's a mono edition. This is, oh, I can't wait to listen to this. This is going to sound awesome. Ah, this is one of my favorite Kenny, um, Kenny Durham albums, too. So, like, yeah. Right, let's get that back in it. I like the purple label. It's kind of cool the way they did it. Um, and in the mono and the master recordings. Uh, this is just going to be really, really good. This will, I tell you, for the jazz recordings, this is one of those ones you just don't want to, you know, let go. you got to jump on this one. And then we're down to the doors. So, here's the Doors one. It's a two LP set. What is on this? Crazy. Morrison Hotel. Lots of versions that you never heard before. Queen of the Highway Sessions. Queen of the Highway. Queen of the Highway. Queen of Take One. Take Two. Take Various Takes. Queen of the Highway. Lots of Queen of the Highway takes. I Will Never Be Untrue. Roadhouse Blue Sessions. Roadhouse Blue. Money Rock Me Baby. Ah, there's a Peace Frog and Blue Sunday Take Four. Peace Frog again. And there's another Peace Frog. So, these are all outtakes. This is evolved in the recording studio. This is how the album and the songs evolved in the recording studio. This is made in Germany. This is limited edition, as you can see, numbered right here. This is the numbered 04414. And I believe the Doors album, as I look here, will be 7,500 worldwide. That's it. That sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. Um, definitely have to get one of these. Let's pop this one open because I'm, I'm sure John's going to want one of these. So this, again, is another one of the ones you have to be careful with because this is a gatefold. So you're going to have to kind of pop it like this from the side. And so there we go. Let's go like that. And like I said, I always do this so I can save the hype stickers because it's got the record store hype sticker and it's got the Morrison Hotel Sessions hype sticker. So you want to do all that. So then what I do is I take that, I pull it out. Uh, who doesn't love the Doors? I know John's one of John's favorite bands over there, Max J. So he's definitely going to have one of these in his collection. Um, that's the beauty of owning a store. So I'm sure he's definitely going to have to listen to that if he hasn't already listened to it. Who knows? He might get a sneak peek. Just make sure it wasn't broken, you know. <laughs> oh, look at this beauteous thing! Look at this. This is the, all the tape sessions and all the various elements on the Doors. Look at that! Look at that! Ah, look at this! Oh, technical notes, music in the studio, the notes they took, how they wrote it down, bass, gym, drums. Oh my God, this is so cool. So this is really cool. If you're really into the doors, this is the way to go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh no, oh no, look what we got. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, look at that. Tell me that is not cool. Oh my God, Jim Morrison. And then, 
Uh, well, I woke up this morning, I got myself a bear. The future's uncertain, the end is always in the air. Ah, so cool. So doom like Jim Morrison, but cool stuff. And it never All right, so how cool was that? Okay, so that's, al that's album one. Putting it back in there carefully. Um, and then album two. No, no goodies, sorry, but a little poster. Oh, on the Electra labels too, by the way, look at that. Ah, what? What a package. This is a really nice one. I guarantee you, since it's the doors, this one will sell out fast. So, my suggestion to you is that the Morrison Hotel one, I suggest you jump on it. And there are many, many more releases. Um, John will be, um, at the video at the store, going over the various releases that um, that came out. And I, um, I did it with John. And we did it earlier today, and I went over what came in. Now, there may be a couple more things coming in the last minute over the next day or two, because today's only Tuesday, June 8th. So this will be four more days on the 12th. So I hope you guys like that show. So that is my little record store day, June 12, 2021 release preview. Okay? I hope to see you guys next week. I hope you enjoy that one, and we'll talk later. And look for John's record store day release. I'm in which I do over at the store, going over the, all the other releases that came out too. So we've got them, so keep you guys going. All right, that's Doc Vinyl for now. Talking to you later. Take it easy, guys.